Breathe. Can you hear it? Welcome to Relay. It's not hard. Ah, uh, hello. We have sound that is good. You have my face. Uh, my face is a face. You have two other faces. They are faces. Um, I am sick and you tired. You are. You, you seem um, sick. I am. I am. I am. I am ill. I am unwell. But we haven't done one of these in two weeks, so I want to do one of these anyway. But because I am ill, and also because it is Canada, the day of Canada is the Canadianist day of all the days. Wait, there are multiple Canadas? Fuck. Here we go. Yeah, and, and we are the can can Canadianist? Can Canadianist? Can the Canadianist of the Canadas. Shiver is going to do an intro. Go, Shiver. Welcome to the Relay Station. This week, we're not going to be talking about Star Citizen. In fact, we're going to be talking about a new epic game. A new epic scale of game. Legis Imperial Alice, which we're going to completely ignore and move on. Happy 10th edition launch, everyone. By the way, I hope you're enjoying a new Warhammer 40k box. Joining us this week as we foray into Star Citizen for real is... Uh, someone who is in the embodiment of Canada, someone who always gets his man, someone who has decided not only that he is the hybrid offspring between a grizzly bear and a poly bear, he is in fact the pizzly bear himself, Nakara! Oh. I have a fun fact. Did you know that in interactions between grizzly bears and polar bears, polar bears are 99% of the time, I think it was four times out of like 250 interactions, the polar bears were always subservient to the grizzly bears. They always let the grizzly bears... That, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Grizzly bears are scary. Polar, polar bears, bears are scary. But grizzly bears are polar scary. Bears are bears are bears like scary. Polar bears are like 50% bigger. They're bigger. Polar <laughs> bears are significantly larger, but they always... Um, and in almost every single interaction viewed at a feeding site, they always uh, were were you know not subservient, I, but like I can see I can see right now what the polar bear's thought process is because they're the only large predator in their environment. Yeah. Also, they're like joining they're us like, this week. They're they're like, what the fuck is that thing? <laughs> they went the other way. <laughs> Also, joining us this week, having recently purchased a Logitech Bluetooth controller and is going to set up his own submarine business, which is going to go swimmingly well, and is going to reach from the depths. Joining us, his nickname is Plan A. It is naturally Eris. Hi. I actually got one of these recently. It's the Starfield controller. It's not Logitech, oh, it's but beautiful. it is so pretty. Oh, one so bad. I, so I really... Steam controller. Fucking love this thing. I really it's look they don't tell you this but one the 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 triggers they're like see-through which Ooh. is really cool touch and two all of this these the the grip parts they're like nice hey, and hey. textured slower you slut stroke it slower they're textured oh, yeah. so it feels really nice on your hands when you've got a good feels grip great. and you're like you're like circling and like you know giving it some love you know yeah oh we know massaging those buttons we know i'm i'm more worried massaging about the anything stick, pushing the buttons. you were massaging with the thumb that was that was most definitely not the first time and that is well what, what i wanted to say is i pressure. didn't buy it because i've got these and these are actually really nice headphones and i've got a stupid mic on an arm but i really want the starfield headset the xbox starfield it looks yeah, so I mean, pretty we we both know that the one that it's based on is amazing it is it's lovely so i use it all the time and last but certainly not leastiest the leafiest the yeastiest the bread and oh. butter and pickliest it's shiver yeah i did forget me didn't I? Yeah, you did. Whoops. Oh, yeah. I'm the excuse for human being on a shiver, all right? All right. Welcome, everyone, to whatever this is this week. Um, I am 19 days from getting my new house. Uh, cool. So almost all of my house is in boxes, except for, you know, 
this computer and a couple guitars, which are going to be going in boxes soon. Um, and this week has been filled with everyone in my house being sick and ill and me taking care of everything and then me collapsing and dying. So it's been a fun week. So I have not Don't watched and die. you're only allowed to do one of them. OK, I'll die um, and then collapse after. OK, um, so I actually haven't watched any of uh, the shows this week or last week. Uh, so what's going to happen this week? is Shiver and Nakara are going to tell me everything that happened, and I am going to learn everything of the last two weeks on screen, live, at your very viewing pleasure. Amazing. Pleasure, pleasure, Shiver, pleasure, did you watch pleasure, the shows this week? Pleasure. I uh, watched, I watched um, the, the not Port Olasar, Port Olasar one. Did you watch the other one? It was not today if I did, so that was in the past, man. Stop living yeah, in the past. Yeah, right? Brains just no, but, yeah okay. Do you want to so, jump right into it then, uh, Mister David? No, we're gonna start with something else. Ooh, okay. We're gonna start with it, it is traditional. <laughs> it is always tradition to start with something else. First, we're gonna start with something that's completely not Star Citizen related, and then we're gonna start with something that is Star Citizen related, and then we're gonna move into the ISCs because one, I just wanted to say there's a new movie on Netflix called Nimona, uh that I watched. And it's fantastic. Nine out of ten. Lovely movie. It's an animated film. It's a kid's film, but it's f really funny. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I was... I will watch that. Uh, Cass and I were watching it just before this because I didn't want to move. Um, oh, I have a recommendation too. Yes, please. Uh, I just got home from seeing uh, Across the Spider-Verse. Mm. And it is... So I think the only real term for it is fucking spectacular. It's better than the first one, which is a challenge. Um, I It was absolutely amazing. So go watch it or watch it when it's on uh, streaming. Tipitarius. Well, I want to watch it when it's on streaming because the yeah. only th that is the proper way to watch Spider-Man is on the web. <laughs> oh, God. Um... Hit me really right quick, in my soul, right here. Really quick, uh, Tipitarius talking about tetanus. Uh, this is actually something that I only learned recently. Tetanus doesn't actually come from rust on tools. It comes from dirt on tools. It's actually from dirt anywhere. If you have a cut on your hand and are digging in the dirt, you can get tetanus from that. Uh, tetanus is from bacteria in dirt, not bacteria on rust. So... Uh, make sure you've got your tetanus shots. It, it's Any, a very important thing to be done. Basically, if you get cut with anything that's dirty, or yeah. you have a cut when you are digging in something, you need a tetanus shot if you don't know when your last one was. Yeah. Yes, Shiver? Fire up. Can Go for it, man. get it if you've got a dirty mind? Yes. Yes. Yeah, you need, oh, definitely shit. need your tetanus booster. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, also... A lot of people don't really talk about this because tetanus is so rare because we all get tetanus boosters constant freakingly yeah. um, when we get cut. Make sure you do it because if you actually get tetanus, it's a horrifying disease to have. <laughs> yeah. Um, absolutely horrifying. So don't fuck around with it. Just get your booster if you if they're if they recommend it. Get it. <laughs> get it. The one that fucking frightens me, apart from uh Prions, prions, however you want to uh, oh, pronounce God. them. We're, we're, they're, they're fucking terrifying, but no. Uh, <laughs> rabies. Oh, rabies. Rabies is, terrifies the Rabies shit is a nightmare. You know what scares the um, shit out of me? What's that? Botulism. Uh, yeah, especially because they're injecting into people's faces constantly. Well, well it, 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 it's more <laughs> that you can't see it. And it doesn't give a shit. There is no cure for it. If you get any of it in you, you dead. Any. And it can be dormant for many, many, many years. Yep. Botulism is scary. Oh, well, there you anyway. go. That's a pre that is a pri the prion. Prion, prion, yeah. Unless I'm thinking specifically of CJD, which is... I, um, yeah. Anyway. This is beyond me now. There was another thing I wanted to say. So before we talk about ISCs, um, CitizenCon tickets went on sale. CitizenCon is in 
LA this year, which is Los Angeles. Honestly, about as I, I think it's as far away from me as it could be. Manchester would be closer. Really? Really? You done the math on that? Uh, I haven't done the math. I'm just theorizing. I'm pretty out sure of that interest because I. Out of interest, because I know you're a worse flyer than me, and I'm not great. I'm a bad do you, flyer. Do you feel safer when it's flying over land or when it's flying over the water? Land. Yeah. Which is fucking weird, because that's... In many ways, you don't want that to land on, but at the same time, you would rather land on that than in the middle of the fucking ocean. <laughs> I would 100% la- prefer to crash land on ground. The number of flights I mean, that have successfully ditched into the ocean is very small. True, true. Very. I mean, small. I'm not that afraid of it because I'm just going to jump out the last second. I'll be all right. <laughs> sure. I. I mean, if you mean, as in all right, like if you define all right as in you don't notice that you're dead, then <laughs> yeah, okay. I could be fine. <laughs> I apologize. It's like <laughs> 200 kilometers further for manchester than la so it's basically the same distance it's the same <laughs> What's that in distance? miles give us that in a decent uh, measurement that's, miles. Uh, that is about 130 miles about 500 miles that oh, i wouldn't that's walk cool. yeah I, it's a controlled fall fast car it's that's the best i can muster okay controlled so, fall, and even that's the <laughs> first question who who here uh has bought tickets I know Fastcart got a VIP ticket. Nakara and I got standard tickets. Did anyone else buy tickets to, to CitizenCon? Uh, number two, I'm actually not sure if I can make it to CitizenCon this year because I just bought a house and money sucks. Nice. Good job getting VIP. Awesome. I, wow. Um, anyway, um, but Nakara and I are going to try and be there. Um Yep. Also, it's am, a two bloody day event. I'm uh, I'm leaning towards going. Um, I looked at flight prices, and flights are actually really reasonable right now. So, at least for from Calgary, they're really reasonable. So, I'm probably gonna end up going. Um, Excellent. So, uh, unless something comes up, I will see everybody there. I'm gonna get my house and see how uh, house poor I am after getting this house. And that sounds like a very decide. fair thing. Yeah. But yeah, I that's the, that was basically what we decided to do was to buy tickets so we could go if we if it worked for us and then decide later. <laughs> um but we would both like to go if we could. Yep. And yeah, we need, to, we need like a Star Trek transporter to bring in the Shiv. I I mean I'm not gonna I think it'd be great to go, but at the same time I want to buy more space marines. <laughs> I mean, if you hadn't bought those space marines, you probably could have afforded the ticket, the airfare, mm, totally hotels for all of us, VIP. Oh, that's, I don't know about that. That's push. <laughs> that. That's all. Uh, Close I might though. have to down. I might have to downgrade to cattle class. Oh, uh, yeah. that's funny. <laughs> um, nice. I'm glad Soul Citizens are going there. Really hope to uh, to see all the Soul Citizens at the event this year. Um, so yeah, that's that's Citizen Con. I'm excited. I um, I think it's gonna be good. I, I wouldn't to... go to a Citizen Con myself. I I would go f- to a bar Citizen, but uh, the last bar Citizen that was in Japan was just it was fairly close, about half an hour away on the train. Most places are that way. Apparently, only two people turned up. I can handle that many people. That's that's a good amount of man. People. You should have gone. I was I was tempted. It was weird, actually. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Okay. Last. Um, yeah. Citizen cons are fun, though. But. Uh, hey, yeah. Chip, I'm curious. Can you tell me where you heard that the that the amount of panels will be the same? I just uh, I was curious. I was actually curious about that myself. But it does make sense, if especially if they're going to be because uh, like last time they massively leveled up like the decoration and the the interior of the space. So if they're going to do that again, I think I'm they said it. They will. I think it was um, in one of the FAQs. Cool. I will check that. It out. Like the, it's the um, same amount of content, but spread out over more time, 
because one of the complaints about the last one, whatever, four years ago, was that it, the panels were constant and there was little to no, no to time. To all of them? To, one, to go to all of them, and two, to, like, interact with people or visit yeah. the booths. Like, you had to miss panels to be there. So I yeah. think the idea is they're just spreading it out over longer with the same amount of comment, content. I have a question, actually, if any... I should go look this up. But do they even have the capacity at the LA Convention Center to have 5,000 people or 10,000 people or however many tickets there are in, like, one spot? Like, one, one, one auditorium? I've never actually been to the LA Convention Center. Um, the capacity is apparently 39,000. Okay. They've got room. So, uh, even if they sold 39,000 tickets, which I don't think they did, um, they'll be good. <laughs> um, okay. That's, that's too many people. That's, that's fucking frightening. Yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't really frighten me. I, well, 39,000 is a lot. I'm fairly used to going to hockey games where there's uh, 20,000 every game. So, uh, yeah. the, it, this really? says largest Five room. people's too many. <laughs> Five yeah. people. I I'm I'm not sure how my like I, I still wear a tall, mask. Just five of them. I'm not sure how my I still wear a mask if I go out anywhere is gonna uh, gonna do me at a convention oh, center oh, with man. thousands of people. But uh, you should totally get a star citizen mask i mean great I'm, i know a I'm... place you can get a table of horrors mask <laughs> Ooh, that'd be perfect if i you if i them. do end up going i will be wet masked the entire time that's not it's not a not a fast Foscott, you're question. a Foscott, you're a bad man you are a bad man Foscott. you are a bad but man that means i would probably bring back the bow tie so that people can recognize me oh of course of course all right. I mean, uh, how, is, how are people even going to know who you are guy. Without, without the suit and the bow tie? Yeah, get this guy. He thinks he's not going to be recognized without a bow tie. No, <laughs> I mean, without my face. If I've got my face covered by a mask, I won't be recognizable. I expect that's you will possible. be one of only five people wearing a mask there, to be quite that's honest true. with you. Yeah, and that's if true. I, I, yeah, I as speaking as an ugly, I swear by masks. I'm doing you all a favor. All right, let's oh, talk man. about let's talk about ISC the last two weeks. So let's start with two weeks ago. Um, here we go. Uh, more salvage contracts? Is that what this is? What what am I seeing here? Someone tell me what I'm seeing, because I don't know what I'm seeing. <laughs> Oh, so these this is about um, them adding salvage contracts to the game. Um, and basically, yeah, it'll be like uh, here's a, here's a piece of salvage, and some of them are timed, so not timed such that it will like disappear or anything, but um, but there you may have like other people arrive to uh, take part <laughs> uh, if, if you don't uh, salvage within the time frame. Okay, that's cool. I mean, that's like, I guess this, this is where we can say that they're sort of fudging the future mechanics because future mechanics are like you find a derelict and then you can sell the location for that derelict and a salvager mm -hmm. can buy that, right? So, but none of that well, think, functionality is in. Things, I think both things will end up happening <laughs> is that there will be like, like salvage organizations who sell the information, right? Yeah. Um, but there will also be player contracts. Um, so you kind of will have both. Um, yeah. I like it. That's the hope. Yep. It's I love the shots of them very pulling hard the, space. Pulling the, yes. uh, yeah, it totally is. I love the shots of them pulling the, uh, weapons and such off of the vehicle. I'm, Agreed. I'm really interested. I, I don't remember where I read it or heard it, but, I think they were like starting to look at 
either it's they're starting to look at it or they haven't looked at it yet, but need know they need to, but like how to cut up ships so that the reclaimer can process larger. Yeah. Like, like a, the reclaimer can in theory grab like an Aurora and eat the whole thing, but it can't g- grab a Starfarer and eat the whole thing. It needs to be able to like to chunk them. It needs so, to be broken down into bite-sized chunks. Yeah. Right. Gotta slice it up. Um, what I want to know is, I think of the reclaimer's belly as teeth, right? Like it's it's sitting there. It's it's got its it, it's got its um it's like long uh, proboscis that comes out and sucks all of the skin off off its its target. And then the proboscis goes back in, and the arm comes out, and it grabs it and it shoves it into its stomach teeth. Right, which are the mm-hmm. the grindy things in the reclaimer's stomach? Um, yeah, stomach teeth, I, yeah, for sure. Yeah, stomach teeth, and I just want to know, like, is there going to be like a job to go in and like floss the reclaimer's stomach teeth? Definitely. Yeah. Cool. I, I hate think the fact I, that that's underneath I, all that bullshit. Yeah, there is actually a decent question in there. I would, I, I would love it if it, <laughs> I would love it if it got jammed and you were like, huh? That's, that's what I'm. That's what enough, I'm. Who's gonna be stupid enough to try and go and jam it? That's what I'm saying. Like, who's you know those like who's gonna go in there with like a, like a, a tooth floss, laser and, cutter, like, floss out the the reclaimer's stomach teeth? Um. Yeah, it's gonna have to be really big floss. <laughs> You, Look, you have actually stumbled upon what kind of maintenance is going to be needed for cap ships, especially something as industrial as a reclaimer, any industrial ship. Surely there will be some maintenance involved simply so engineers aren't sat on their ass doing fuck all sometimes. Yep. The, okay, I, I've i brought this game up before, um, and now I need to try and remember what the hell it's called, because... Um, my brain isn't working right now. What the fuck is it called? Oh shit! Question I okay. want to know is: So, would you be? You guys to talk about something so I need fast to... so you could go back to a salvage point that you died at and salvage your own corpse. <laughs> yes, there the it is. It okay. will last for years. Already has, and it's oh, <laughs> still going. Okay, so, um, one, one, I have to say, Shiver, I'm slightly insulted by you, like, insinuating that I stumbled upon this question. Look, just because my brain is cold doesn't mean working not still. Um, Oh, yes, I'm convinced. But so there's a game on steam right now it's an incredibly good game uh very positive what's it got like yeah 93 percent on thirty four thousand reviews okay very okay. good game i've played it with friends it's called barrow trauma okay i've heard oh yeah I've yeah heard. it's a survival horror where you and your friends form the crew of a submarine that is piloting the oceans underneath one of Jupiter's moons. Um, Europa? Probably. Cool. Um, Europa is the ocean one. But, like, you've got classes, right? So there's not school classes, but, like, job classes, and there's the captain that steers the ship, and, you know, the gunner that controls the guns and has to go and you know collect the ammo and and fill up the guns and do the firing but then there's also an electrician and a um like a a engineer because all there's every single component in this ship deteriorates as you're driving so the engineers have to constantly be looking at components repairing them making sure everything's kept up 
popping up the nuclear reactor. Uh, the, the electrician has to, you know, fix shorts and there's like a full wiring diagram through the ship connecting all of the different components and you can like disconnect certain components to make others run better like it's every single job in the game has like <laughs> i've definitely talked about this before tip i know you have i have but i i really think that it's like it's something that you could... Uh, I'm not saying go buy it. It's a very difficult game to play. Even though the Steam Summer Sale is on. It is on. Uh, is it on sale? Um, I've got it. It's 25 cent percent off. It is on sale. It's 25% off. For a second, you're going to say 25 cents off. <laughs> no, even, <laughs> even, like, even go watch some Twitch streams of it, and you'll get a very good idea of what CIG... I'm not seeing CIG will do this with, with Star Citizen, but what they could do to save... To, like, every single job has stuff to do, is what I'm saying. Mm hmm yeah, and that's, you know, that's obviously what they're working towards with uh, Star Citizen. Um, and they are taking the somewhat difficult dance of um, actually trying to um, um, make all of the gameplay mechanics, like, deep and have like, multiple layers of complexity and, and difficulties within them. Um, that's not easy to do. There's a lot of things that would be really easy to make them just, like, a click or something you know <laughs> um, but uh, that isn't yeah. really very fun and it definitely doesn't provide enough gameplay depth for an mmo it's re it's really funny actually because uh some other friends and i were talking literally this week about how like there has been almost no innovation in the mmo space since wow Almost all other MMOs what basically well, was hold not on. innovative in any way, <laughs> shape, or form. No, but everything's um, just copied it. No, it fucking hasn't. There's that M WoW is very much a basic vanilla MMO. There were many before it that were exactly the same. There have been many but, after it that were exactly the same format. It's yeah, not original. But, it's not the first. Okay, which it game, is just uh, the biggest. How sure. well, ever RuneScape? Eve Online? It, Shiver. It wasn't Shiver. Well, Eve Online. Not even remotely similar to Eve Online. No. In any way. It's the same basic core. It, no. At the end of the day, it's a, it's an RPG, and then you just make it a massively multiplayer online game. But wow, was I've never thought of it as innovative. I've thought of it as popular. I've thought of it as large. But well, I, there have been better, and there have been games that were like it closest, before. It was closest related to EverQuest because that's what it was yeah. really trying. That's what they were aiming to actually like dethrone because that was the biggest mmo at the time in in the western yeah. world lineage uh, existed yeah. in in uh in asian markets and it was way bigger than anything mm. that oh, existed MMOs in are North fucking America. huge over here um there are mmos over here that i've never heard of that have got thousands of players david the point is very few have changed from that formula oh in that not. yeah 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 in that like Click your button. That's yep. your attack. It's on a clue, right? Um, and what we were talking, what 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 we had been talking about was uh, Star Wars Galaxies was innovative because of the economy and the scale of everything. Mm -hmm. And Freedom, Dungeons yeah. and Dungeons and Dragons Online DDO, which was it was D and D three point in an MMO in, but it wasn't like an open world MMO. Everything was little dungeons that you and your friends would do a little four-person dungeon then you'd come out of it to this open world but it was all smaller dungeons and there were like traps and you could only see the traps if you had a rogue that had you know 18 spots or whatever right like and there were roles there were roles hidden in the game hidden behind the scenes that governed everything it was D, &D. but Aside from, like, a very, very few MMOs, very few have gone beyond the click to mine, 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 click to build, yeah. here's a progress yeah. bar, build, and Star Citizen is going to be... Oh, Fireworks Canada Day, right? Yep. Sorry, I was... Um, it's like Star Citizen is going to be it. It is going to be completely different from any other MMO. Completely different. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like it's completely yeah. divorced from the idea of an MMO almost um, like previous MMOs. Actually, you know, which one was quite different that I'll, I bet you nobody who's watching this has ever played. And if you have, I want you in the comments or in the uh, chat. <laughs> um, Black Desert. Um, Earth Above and Beyond, I think it was called. Um it was uh, it was a space MMO from the early two thousands. Um, I think it peaked at like thirty thousand players. Um, sorry, space above. No, that's not right. Come on, Which no, one space Earth, that, Earth that, and that Beyond. Was a fucking EA, fantastic. Yeah, MMO. Earth and Beyond. Earth and Beyond. Thank you. It was developed by Westwood. It was amazing. I loved Westwood. I loved that. I loved that game, yeah. but it, it peaked at 30,000 players, which is not enough for an MMO, obviously. It um, actually got really good ratings, too. It was really good. I loved playing that game. I played a ton I've of it. never even heard um, of it. And uh, it, was, it was different than other MMOs. It was quite its own thing, um, which, I, which is pretty cool for a game that came out in 2002, you know? Um... But uh, but really, Star Citizen is going to be, if it lands, this has always been the thing, right? This is why we're here. This is why the whole community is here. If it lands the way it could land, it just changes the whole deal, right? Yeah. For MMOs. It's just different. It's completely different from anything that's been made before. Um, yeah. And so, if it doesn't land, yeah. at least it's been a hell of a ride. That's right. Yeah, it's the ride was worth it. <laughs> if yeah. it doesn't land, there's a good chance that Squadron will, and then you know, then you got something out of yeah. it anyway. <laughs> I mean, it the potential though as well. Uh, if it is going to be this successful, it, it is going to show other devs that there is a demand for this kind of a thing, of this in depth of a game. And can you imagine the things that you could do? A, a MechWarrior MMO. I'm obsessed with this idea. I'm get over I it. I don't. Um, I don't. I honestly don't think it's possible. So, um, the FTC Activision, the FTC Activision case has been going on, and uh, Sony improperly redacted a bunch of their information. Yep. Um, they they covered it up with Sharpie, but if you and then when they in. scanned it in, uh, you could see through, through the Sharpie. Yeah. Uh, which, which meant that which meant the people the Sony brand Sharpie. Well, it meant that people were able to read some of the information that they wanted to keep classified, such as The Last of Us Two cost two hundred million dollars to make, and yeah, it was like two twenty or something. And the discourse is, is that just a development cost or is development it just development? It's just no, development. development. Yeah. Just development. Development only. Two hundred twenty million to develop, and some of the discourse yeah. has been. Lots like a bunch of developers being like that is that is insane like that is too much that is not sustainable, it's not possible. Um, Star Citizen will show that or has already shown that there is an appetite that people have for something different, but funding is a problem. Star Citizen is unique. Even at the time, things like Elite Dangerous tried to copy it and didn't and couldn't. Star Citizen is still the best kickstarted game of all time. They're the most f most funded, I guess. Like, yeah. I don't think yeah, anything yeah, yeah. can Yeah, yeah, stick match. with that, because otherwise people are going to interpret that in a very bad way. Yeah, yeah. sorry, not best. Most I mean most funded, most you know, successful in funding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, I, yeah. So I think the funding issue will, will cause problems, though I don't want to say never, no, because... I hate to say it, but AI tools are in their infancy right now, but five, ten years from now, maybe it's not going to cost $500 million to make other, Star Citizen. The other thing is, they CIG started with a, with a few distinct disadvantages. First of all, they didn't have a studio, mm -hmm. uh, which is a big issue. Uh, <laughs> secondly, they had to use someone else's engine, yeah. um, which, which you could see somebody with a first-party engine. Um, having a much easier time of it. Yeah. The third thing is, CIG spent a really long time doing things for the first time ever. 
um that hadn't been done before and there was nobody that's really hard in games most of the time when you're developing games you're you're looking at how other another game did it and then doing it the same way like or adapting it slightly you know what i mean and they were they talked about that years ago and they're like you know it's really hard when you don't have anybody to go to you just have to make it up like we need to do this thing nobody's done it we have to figure out how to do it and, and the thing is, if if the next person who comes, the next company that comes along and tries to do something similar to Star Citizen, even if it's like a completely different game, but if it's the same scope, they can just look at how CIG did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We know yeah. that we know and, the and, path, you know. And with with in regards to the engine as well, Cry Engine itself is a fantastic engine. It is phenomenal everything that they've been doing to star citizen is because CryEngine has had the potential to do this for a very long time but no one's sat there and thought should yeah. we do this because it's taking this long to get this far in it but the other problem with cry engine is you need to be able to use cry engine specifically you need to know how to code in cry engine specifically it is not at all uh user friendly beginner friendly you, yeah. you want something like that, Unreal Engine. Unreal. I cannot fault yeah. Unreal Engine, it, despite it. It does. It is not a perfect engine. It is far from it's a perfect engine. Good. It has very many faults, but it does have its faults. Jittering has not been eliminated. That's in fine. Engine. Yes, but, but it's it's got usable. the advantage of someone like Eris, who know how how do you code Eris? How do you code in Java? I ain't got a fucking clue. You just sit there and Hashtag... go coffee make game <laughs> there you go but you can make Damn, shit in done. unreal i can yep blueprints click you know, and drag and there, there's that disadvantage of cry engine of you have to know how to work in cry engine yeah. that's why cig CryEngine. hired like everyone in the world who knew how to do yes <laughs> absolutely yeah yeah and all right not, and you're not going to get many people who know how to use CryEngine because you have to specialize in CryEngine. And then you're just like, I can do this one thing. Hire me, someone. You're not using the engine. Okay, I'm sorry. The, other, first. the other interesting thing is for any devs that come in the future, like how we, we need to do this thing. Well, and, and CIG haven't been completely open about how they've done everything. But they've been a lot more open than anyone else ever with how they've yep. done things. We know oh, yeah. a lot about how they solved certain problems, right? Mm-hmm. And this is all open. It's all public knowledge. Anyone else that's looking to do any of the things that Star Citizen is doing now can look through and probably say, oh, that's how they solved this. Now we have to figure it out. But like, it gives you that... Stepping stone. Okay, I want to move us back to ISC because we imagine only got... being the intern at some game company, and <laughs> when the when the uh, when your boss goes, "Hey, can you figure out how Star Citizen did this? Just just go through all of their videos." I can, I and I know I know exactly <laughs> what that intern should do. That intern should be like, "Hey, uh, relay crew, when when did uh, CIG talk about this thing that they fixed?" And we'll be like, "Yeah, it was here." That'd be nice. <laughs> we would. I, we wouldn't right. be like, oh yeah, it was over here. We'd be like, shit, we've been asked questions. Shit, shit, everyone panic. <laughs> shit, we've got to do something now. Shit, but what do we do? How do we do this? It's been a long time. But then we'd find it. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. Shall Let's we move, move back to, to Don't make us yes. out to be this well-oiled machine. That puts pressure on us. Oh no, we're not well more oiled. We're not oiled at all. <laughs> we're squeaky. But yeah, we're old. But... <laughs> uh... I got nothing. My next big uh... life event I'm looking forward to is death. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shiver. Yeah. All right. So, David, there's yeah, new what's crusader platforms. Oh, cool. They're adding more platforms so you can run more missions simultaneously, so they can run more like events and missions simultaneously um, in uh, at Orison. Well, not, not only Orison, at Crusader. They're uh, scattering them a little bit more throughout the atmosphere of uh, Crusader. That's fun. 
Uh, when are they going to make it so that we can like get in and out of Crusader and it's not the worst place in the verse to visit? Uh, as soon as the uh, new flight system comes online, then you'll be good. Good. Because then maybe I'll actually go there. Yeah, I hate pretty that much. they put... I mean, I hate going in and out put, of the gravity well is brutal. They put all of the best FPS content, which is what I want to play most, in the least accessible place to get to. Unless you spawn there. Yeah, but then you're stuck there. And it takes four years to get off planet. That's a long time. <laughs> I, I still years. don't like that range, though. I... I, range. I, mm. the, the, I mean, I know you're, it's a sniper, and I know a sniper has to have long range. I know compared to how the range of a real-life sniper oh. rifle is, this is very close, but I, I don't like that. I don't like the potential of a one-shot death from someone I didn't even see. But at the oh. same time, I do like it. I don't know. I don't just, know. Man, you're going to be able yeah, to, like, they do. They do. The I, I get good scrub is what it comes down to. Use cover, shiv. Fucking, yeah, just man up and do it. All right. Or just die sometimes, I, I guess. Or just, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, that's fair. So it, it's, <laughs> it's, gonna happen, man. it's genuinely a really hard thing for games to get right. Um, yeah. And I it, always like think... It's like missiles as well. Well, I think of Battlefield... Three, maybe. I played a lot of Battlefield Three. I'm wearing my Battlefield Three T-shirt. <laughs> there we go. Hey, Jeff um, just said they, again they drastically lowered the height you need to be quant to Quantum out of Crusader. I know there it's not go. as fixed. I know, I know that they did, and it's not as bad, but it still annoys me. It's still too much. Like it's still you shouldn't be taking five minutes of my time just to get out of the atmosphere. They need to let us quantum ship. out. <laughs> and, and no, it's not get a faster ship. Just let us quantum out. Like just, and I know well, they're going they are to. Going to. They're literally doing that. I know, Eric. It. I know, Eric. But they're <laughs> finally doing the thing that I've been telling them to do for five years. Why don't they just listen to me in the first place? Um. Well, I'm always they right. Go, they had to go through the pain. They could just, I know, they just, they just could have, they could have saved themselves the pain and just, you know, oh, David thinks that we should do this. Let's do it. That's, that would be the, you know, that's what I would do. Um, Can you imagine how fucking... The the laugh on Shiver's face was just growing for like two minutes there. Can can you imagine how cocky he's going to get when they finally do redesign that freelancer? Oh God, it won't, it, it, all, all of our podcasts every day yeah. for like for like months that's all it will be about yeah It'll just be about yeah. the freelancer that's it yeah, yeah. it's true um yeah. i wanted to say so battlefield 3 <laughs> i really liked but i always played as a sniper i am fairly good with sniper rifles yep. but in battlefield 3 uh it was basically impossible to get a one hit kill why it was it would just you didn't do enough damage with any of the sniper oh. rifles. You didn't do enough damage in oh, one that's hit. That's very unrealistic. Well, it was incredible, but it, but it's worse because you hit someone's center mass, and then they run and sprint to cover and get under cover, and then they heal over time. Oh, ouch! So you oh, can so never tell anybody. You do it. Fuck you, do. Yeah. So, so what's the never fucking point of a sniper rifle? Yeah, right. And like, the, well, yeah, but then you well, just just play on a hardcore server, and then you don't regenerate. I can't believe yeah, but, that you have to play on a hardcore server. That, I never got over that. Now that I remember. I, I wanted that to was, play that hard. Was how to play real Battlefield was hardcore. Yeah. The, the problem is there were so few hardcore servers. There were very few hardcore servers, and even fewer that played hardcore Rush. Ouch. Oh. That's a shame. Rush was such oh, it was, a great game mode. Oh, I love Rush. Anyway. Okay. It, Star, Star Citizen's an interesting one because you almost have to have long range snipers because the game world is so big. Like, but that's gonna lead to some really interesting engagements where you are gonna be killed from like two miles away. From but somebody who's amazing with a sniper rifle. <laughs> I, but I, I think that that's going to be 
if you're wearing no armor, yeah, you should get killed in one hit by a sniper rifle. If you're wearing heavy armor, no. And that's oh, with going a heavy to be, armor, no. And that's going to be the question. What what armor are you wearing into the engagement? And that's where I was just wearing a t shirt, David. Then you're dead. I know. Bitch. <laughs> All right. Um, more uh, more floaty things is good. Uh, it good, is, more, it is good. good. It's awesome. Good more, more floaties. More space for missions to, missions to happen on. It's always better. Uh, mm -hmm. sh sh shenanigans, you've been watching us for a while. You should know yes, by now that... thank you, by the way. Yes, I'll, yeah, Assassin thank you. Um, he, he is very often up commenting on the youtube and it, you know yeah, thank you so I've, much. I've seen it and thank you yeah but but like you've been watching us for a while you should know that i don't like doing things in star citizen you like doing things but you like them to take zero time at all times yes I, which if is took bad negative when you have time, time that would be better it, i've got i've got childs i don't have time I love Diablo and, 4 because I can hop in. So, childs are so poorly designed, they actually take time. What's I know. <laughs> I sincerely regret having childs. <laughs> I'm sure there are days. I'm sure there are days you don't, too, but... Yeah. <laughs> often, <laughs> often. I went downstairs last night. Uh, yesterday, sorry. My My little nephew was staying with us. And my mother-in-law, he he was lying asleep on the floor, adorable as fuck. And then there's my mother-in-law falling asleep right next to him. It's like, oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that's so sweet. And you think, oh, yeah, yeah. And like, no, yeah, any idea? Yeah, yeah, okay. And then later in the day, you find out he's had a piss on the floor. And you're like, that's why I don't want fucking kids. <laughs> um, here's, here's the thing. Or you're, absolute, you're absolutely right. There are some times when... They are the cutest things in the world. And then there's some times when you're like, why the hell did I do this? And often it's the same, like both of them. Often it's halfway through the thing. It, yes, <laughs> it's at the same time. Like free falling at 10,000 feet. You're like, why did I do this? <laughs> yes. As Sarger I left has the said, parachute behind. Homer famously with the quote I have three kids and no money. Why can't I have no kids and three money? <laughs> you think it's it's you're like, God, if I didn't have this stupid kid, I could sleep, I could play games, I could eat whatever I want, whenever I want, life would be great. And then he walks up to you and he's like Dad, I want to play the video game with the spaceships. Can you let me fly the spaceships? And you're like, fuck. <laughs> Damn it, I love you again. God, fuck. <laughs> like, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Also, that was good shenanigans. Oh, this has been the best so fucking genetic. podcast we've ever had. This is amazing. Someone tell oh. me what this is. I need to get another beer because beer is all that is sustaining my survival currently. Oh, God, why are you having a beer when you're ill? I don't even like to have a beer when I'm well. I like beer. That, that there's, <laughs> there's the answer. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to argue with that. That was a perfect delivery. You even had the point down perfectly. Just pointed and mm -hmm. shiver. The pose, the point, the tone, impeccable. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So a trespassing system. Um. Mm. God, I wish I had paid closer attention to this uh, ISC since someone else watched. Um. <laughs> But uh, I mean, I, yeah, I know the principles I'll that they were going for with it from way back when. I this is it demonstrated, I assume. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, basically, the idea of being able to uh, uh, trespass on other people's ships, um, well, you know, board other people's ships. Um, one of the things that they're working on, I can't remember where I saw this. Jeez, but they're uh, currently when you. Uh, 
like go onto someone else's ship it it pops up for the owner and there pops up a message saying such and such has joined yeah you know the chat so they gotta figure out a way to make that go away <laughs> no it's so it's actually nice see here yeah there it is um they're they gotta they're trying to figure out a way to make that not happen <laughs> because it really ruins the surprise it does but there should be a way to find out well th there needs to be like a couple things. One, there needs to be a way to find out. And oh, for sure. Two, I know that they've only built this into the MSR, which is actually a pretty big downside. Um, they need those like crawlways and storage compartments in more ships so that you can hide in like oh, man. places in bigger you're, ships. You're gonna be. They've had some epic arguments on Star Citizen Live about Jeffrey's tubes and ships. Oh, yeah? <laughs> There's a war going on at CIG. <laughs> they add a lot of room to every ship if you put them in. Like, a lot. They, you gotta yep. make the ships way bigger. Um, yep. So they're... I think it's gonna always be a, a sometimes thing. It, it doesn't have to be every ship, but an Idris, that should have a ton of them. A Jap, like any of the large ships should have them. The Endeavor should have them. The, like... Yeah, they've, um, they've, demoed, they've demoed internal ship sensors sh uh, shenanigans. Um, I think it's mostly about, are you paying attention, first of all? And secondly... Um, are the borders using any kind of stealth? Because there may be some things available, special armors, things like that, yeah. which might be able to mask their signals. It, it should be a, a give and take, right? Like, okay, <laughs> I need to get, I need to get on this ship, but I need to jam their like, like <laughs> make make the person trying to get on the ship have to do something to not be immediately added to the ship's comm system, right? Like, yeah, jam their own comms somehow so that it's not detected. I don't know. There's got to be a there's got to be a give and take, right? Anyway, that's good. I'm glad they're they're working on it and adding it. Um, yay. Heist society barge heists. Yeah. Barge heists. Uh huh. Man, I swear I watched this episode. My brain is just like. This was two you're weeks ago. Not recalling any of it. This was two what weeks was ago. Two weeks is a long time. Oh, was this was two? That's why this is the one that was a while ago. Fair enough. I, I yeah, I don't know this, but I'm very interested in this. Just for the fact that it can happen, this this sounds awesome. This is like proper crime. Uh huh. And in Orison, I love David's that. Favorite, David's least favorite place. They keep adding stuff to Orison. It's like, guys, there's other places. Um, but oh, yeah, if but this is more... do you think there's a tech, an underlying tech reason why they've chosen Orison? Maybe they've yep. put Orison in the game like this in the state, so they're like, okay. This is where we're going to just plug everything in because we know that this is set up for that. It's, it's the newest it's, setup. That's why they've done all, it, the, all of their tricks. Oh. There. It's not even just that. It's that Orison is designed as discrete Modular. module modules, right? So they can easily add. Oh, just here's another floating cloud platform, and this platform does this, and this platform does this. They don't have a full city. They don't like. We don't have city interiors. They can't really add it to any of the other cities. But Orison, oh, we'll just yeah, we're we're gonna do this on a barge. Oh, we'll add some more floating platforms over here for this. It's easy, right? Mm -hmm. It's just the easiest and, place to add this content. Yeah, and they they can do that now in Levski uh, at Hurston because they redid the whole city. Um, and I think the Microtech might be set up for it as well but um but obviously you know orison's the newest city they put in so it has all of their nice bells and whistles i i think orison's also 
the place you go for FPS combat. So if they keep it all yep. sort of centered in one place, because they also, one of the things that we've known for a while is that they are pushing the envelope on how much they can add to the system without server meshing, right? Like they can't keep adding stuff. They can't add any more. Like it's, it's full. So yep. already maxed out they, of memory. How do they add things in as efficient a way as possible? And that's that's things like this. It's things on Orison that are contained and are mm -hmm. like easy. Yeah. Yeah, they uh they kinda well it, it's, we've had a few points in development where they have kind of gotten themselves stuck. This is another one. There are some things they simply cannot do until server meshing is online. Yeah. Unless, Unless they, I... they they do have the option, although I don't think they would do it, of just turning off Stanton and turning on Pyro. But that doesn't seem like a good solution. <laughs> they could just have them both and you select your server when you launch. You could, they could. Yeah. Select but I think Pyro just... or select Stanton. I mean, it's a stupid... I think the reason they're not doing it is because that's not the way it's going to work. So they're like, yes. well, you have all this work to make that work. Yeah. No, let's not do that. Yeah. Um, you just gotta wait till server meshing's done. Net networking is fucking hard, yo. Yep. It's still... I play a lot of Rocket League, and it's still the thing that's the most impressive about that game. It's not perfect, but you have usually six uh, very fast-moving um, players on the screen at all times and it works almost always, which is insane. <laughs> Especially since it came out so long ago, they did an amazing job of the networking in that game. Is by far the most impressive thing about it. Yeah, the, the... <sighs> now just networking, right? Not even let's not even put it down to a game. Just setting up a network over the internet. <sighs> Fuck that. Fuck that. Yeah. Fuck that. And then when you put into the fact something like Star Citizen, Battlefield, anything where your response has to be as instantaneous as possible, that's beyond difficult. Thank you. Thanks. One of those that's me. so nice. Thank you so much, Citizen Shenanigans. I'm gonna... Oh, God. Okay. I feel bad that one of those went to me. I'm sorry. One went to me too. Oh. oh man, thank you so much. Um, are you okay there, David? Yeah, I'm alive. What could be worse? Someday you're gonna be like, <laughs> you're, what a mood. <laughs> Someday you're gonna. Oh, I woke like, up. Hey, fuck. Hey, hey, Link. I used to be a goalie in in hockey, and you'll like try to do a move and just get stuck. <laughs> I I want to get back into <laughs> hockey, actually. Oh, so your shoulder can die more. Yep. <laughs> no, it's, the only, sure. it's the only exercise I, I ever got. I, 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 I'm not a, not surprised. A lot of people I know who play hockey always feel the pull to play again. <clears throat> All right, so we've got a new station. Yeah, same as so the old station. Here's the deal with Seraphim. Uh, if you want me to do a rundown. Yep, do it. Basically, the idea was that Port Olisar needs a lot of work. Um, it's not that it's going to be gone forever. It's that it is old as shit and doesn't have room to be expanded at all. And there's a ton of new stuff that it needs that it, we, they just couldn't add to it because there's no way to add on to it. It's not designed the way uh, new stations are. Um, so they had to remove it from the game in order to do work on it. Um, in and they decided to replace it with Seraphim Station, where Port Olisar currently was. So it's in the exact same spot. Um, Port Olisar will come back in the future uh, as an upgraded station somewhere else. Probably, oh my God, it's like Babylon 4. Pro I'm guessing probably on the other side of, of uh, Crusader. And they'll have them like both orbiting. Something like that. Sorry, Shiver. Um, so, yeah, so it's kind of, I think it looks really nice. They kept a lot of the design elements of Port Olisar. Um, and uh, 
just made it uh, more friendly for the modern game and also the ability to of course modularly expand the station i genuinely don't know why anyone would have any sort of a problem with this uh with and change. people bother me yeah any more than five bothers me <laughs> apparently um um, people may be very mad about it, but it's got to be 100% nostalgic because there's no other reason to be angry about Portal Assault going it away. It makes no sense. It, Tem- you're going away temporarily at that. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, no. Going away forever. Like. Um, uh, well, I, I, yeah, I, but don't forget, there was. Ah, um, oh, shit. I can't remember the guy's name. The, um, the solicitor, German fellow. His face was the Emperor's face. Someone, oh, yeah. You all know who, yeah. his name. I, I'm terrible with names. Um, he once recounted a story many, many years ago where someone was very angry that their Idris got upgraded from a Corvette to a frigate, and they insisted that they want a frigate, and uh, a Corvette, sorry, because that's what they pay for and that's what they're getting. And it got to such... Mooth or something like that. Uh, he was he actually had to intervene and say, "Look, look, you're getting something bigger. You're getting something better." And the guy still wasn't happy with it. And it's like, well, kind of tough shit, you know. At that point, some Refund it. some people ju- that's just how some people are. And if that's how they are, that's how they are. That's fair enough. Wow. But at the same time, you've <laughs> also got to remember that everyone else is going to be here. Like, well, I'm sorry for you, that's... but the rest of us are going to get on with it. See, I don't think that's fair enough. I think that's tough shit on them. No, no, no. People have it. Well, yeah, it is tough shit, but they have a right to the opinion. But at the same time, tough shit. This is happening. Hang on. Sorry. Because people have a right to their opinion, but they have no right to take it out on other people. And if he's going to attack CIG for it, no, sorry, that's where you lose your right. You don't have you can be yeah you can have your opinion keep your opinion in your pants opinions are like penises keep them in your pants um opinions like assholes everyone has one and they stink <laughs> that too um all right oh man i love that they're now showing off the whole sea all the time because they're like we have it here it is I I <laughs> think a new no station is great. Fucking ship is now, do you? <laughs> it's just massive. Um, yeah, I'm I'm happy with the new station. I will say I I do agree with some people that they should have done like a montage of Olasar like falling into the planet or some like just giving it some sort of a send off. Are did. you trolling us? Oh, did they? Yes. Yeah. That is exactly what, that's, what they that's did. That's the entire end of the episode. Oh, see, yeah, I haven't seen I that. You're Sorry, trolling us because that is literally what they did. They <laughs> sent a giant so, and so threw it into so the planet. For a few seconds. I haven't <sighs> seen the episode. Yeah. On, I know, hey, I know on the plus side, Eris, just like, I, I just you had you were... another great idea that CIG did. I was just, all my I was ideas so were because you were, you were saying exactly what they did, and I was like, what? <laughs> All right, good. They listened to me. They listened to future me. That is a yeah. big ass bar citizen. Holy shit! Fifteen hundred people. My god. Yeah, that's not one. See... Sh- that's not one shiver would want to be at. No, that's one thousand four hundred ninety-five people. Too many. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is all very good uh, uh, vectors for COVID. Yeah. Love to see it. Oh, is he. You're not wow, you're wrong. Such a ray of sunshine. You're, you're not wrong, but at the same time, it is nice to see. It's nice to yep. see. The I just the fans just getting. I'm going to be the well, positive one. You, yeah, it's great. Right. I love it. I really hope that none of them died. <laughs> uh, I hope none of them are crippled long term or dead. Oh, I know oh, I'm a killjoy. God Almighty! <laughs> what? I thought I was the morbid one. I'm meant to be the morbid one. <laughs> no, no, Apparently all on. three of us. No, there is a fact that has been stuck in my mind for the last year or more that... People don't wash their fucking hands, it turns out. I mean, there's that. But um, World War II was pretty fucking bad, right? We, I, think, I yeah. think we can all agree that World War II was pretty friggin' bad. Mm-hmm. 
uh, more Canadians died yeah. in the first two years of COVID of COVID than were killed in World War II. Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah, that right. More Canadians died of COVID than died in World War II. I did not know that. COVID is not a fucking joke, and we're treating it as if it is one. It's more deadly than fucking World they, War II. Well, oh, oh, the pandemic's over, don't you know? Anyway. Hey, look, they're throwing portals into the, Sorry, into right, the planet. Sorry, you're right, you're right. Sorry, I apologize. No, that's I me, apologize. that's me. I apologize, everyone. I'm sorry. Um, no, I, I, I got on that train too. I'm sorry. This is exactly what I wanted to see. This is fantastic. I love... I really love these videos that they've been putting t together. Like, their video team this year has been top-notch. I love it. Oh, it's been amazing. Also, this whole introduction piece where he's doing the um, the Unsolved Mysteries. He's doing the spoof on Unsolved Mysteries about where oh. Porto Slar went. <laughs> that's beautiful. I didn't know and that's the what video, he was doing. The video is one of the Unsolved Mysteries creations of what they think happened and it was punching into the atmosphere <laughs> i love it ask does anyone else remember a time when not only disco lando's beard was completely black but when eric's beard was also completely black thank you very much for that shiver i'm glad you brought everyone's attention i'm sorry it's it, I'm ju it just it just if it helps, when I get stubble now, there is a lot of white in there now. And Trust I'm me. Like, oh. Actually, I'm actually shocked by David because David's hair was completely pitch black for a long time. I had kids. So he's starting... Oh, the kids! That's what did it. Right? My my hair is still black. It's just it's just the uh, it's just the beard. Oh, get and... you with your yeah. fucking hair! <laughs> fucking white hair under my chin. Brutal. Just my beard. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be like 45 years old and I'm gonna be completely white. Just be like, son of a bitch. <laughs> That's okay. Honestly, then I can just dye it all, wrong dye it all bright green. Nothing wrong with that. I'm I'm kind of that. excited to have more gray in my hair. I think I'm I'm gonna look good with with some gray hair. It doesn't bother Everyone me. keeps saying you're gonna go gray when you're wrong, and I'm just here like I'm gonna get more hair. When? <laughs> uh, apparently they found they they've got a new um, <laughs> treatment that had like a 45% increase in hair growth in like 75% of, of men that tried it. Yes, go on. I'm genuinely interested. I, I don't remember. I'd have to look it up. It was like in, in pre-testing. I'd have to find the article. Except it's all on your ass. Genuinely, I <laughs> I, I was reading about it, but I didn't really. That's like, the one look thing that it. happens when you get older. You start getting hair in all these places, and you're like, "This is not where I want the hair. Why is it? <laughs> why is it not there? Why is it everywhere else? Why is it migrating?" <laughs> so, as you can see, we've we've come to the end of the uh, Star Citizen content that we have to talk about. Wait, we had Star Citizen content. <laughs> She's going to um, change your name to Geriatric Citizen now, aren't we? <laughs> <That's great. laughs> oh, I'm oh, almost oh, citizen 40. shenanigans. Don't worry. We're, we are we are both Gen X. I consider myself Gen X, although I am borderline. But, yeah. I'm almost 40. That scares me. You're not as almost 40 as I am. It's true. Closer. I still haven't got over the fact that at one point I hit my 30s. That That's not sunk in, let alone the new one. <laughs> Fair I wasn't meant to live this. I, my plan was to die at 40 of a fucking heart attack. That fucked up. Uh, that's my plan, don't I, worry. Funny, I'll still funny small it. coincidental story, actually. <laughs> uh, back in there, when I was about 15, going to London to shop because you know the internet wasn't really there to go and buy a computer game i remember buying super wing commander for the super nintendo in a shop and i was relating that story to my mother at the time of i intend to die at the age of 40 and this guy behind the counter he was rather rotund and he said yeah that was my plan too but it didn't fucking work yeah. out Ah, <laughs> uh, i used Don't to love 40, trust me don't do it I it. used to love going into stores and like buying computer games and the boxes. You know? 
that's all. I it's missed all, that. I mean, they're still there, but it's all console games now, which is understandable. Like Starfield physical yeah, box, really... you're not getting a disc in it. No. I desperately want the Baldur's Gate Collector's Edition, but it's extremely expensive. I can't really justify it. It's like four hundred dollars. Canadian. I've already, I've already bought it. The collector's edition? No, the the normal edition. Like I already own. Oh the yeah, game. me. Too. Oh yeah, I I bought that game a long time ago. I wanted to support yeah. them because I knew it was going to be amazing. Yeah. I want all the Starfield. Be, I mean, the reason I bought it was that it's like all they really had to do was do put D D rules into Divinity, and they're yeah. good. Because the Divinity I, is amazing. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we actually talked about it on the show at all. Uh, one, I really want the Starfield Collector's Edition. I've, I've wanted uh, a smartwatch for a long time, and I really like the look of that smartwatch. Uh, but Cass told me that I would be getting that over my dead body. Directly with the game. Yeah, but she told me that I'd be getting it over my dead body, and there was no way I would ever be allowed to wear it, because she thinks it's ugly. Um, well, that's not nice. But Jeez. I'm... I am right. Bye, really, David. really excited for Starfield. Um, oh man, we're gonna have a real good couple months for uh RPGs. <laughs> we have Baldur's Gate 3, and then a month later, we have Starfield. This year is gonna be nuts. <laughs> I just sorry, okay, Jibber. look, I'm gonna date, I'm gonna hey, date myself I, a little bit. And and Shiver, I know you're going to be like, oh, you youngin. But I'm going to date myself a little bit. I really liked how certain old games, I'm thinking um, Secret Weapons of the Luftwaffe uh, and some others around that era. Uh, I loved Secret Weapons of the Luftwaffe. It was a great uh, flight game. Um, but they came with, like, a wheel that you had to, like, match. Like, a code wheel that you had to match. It would be, like this picture and this and you had to like match the picture to prove that you had bought the game as like their anti power i liked those like cold wheel things that like manual oh, hard like hard copy anti piracy it was so cool before well that was the rm of its day yeah it was awesome i loved yeah. it i really enjoyed having to to match those things before i played every time <laughs> I remember someone letting me borrow the Settlers, the first one for the Amiga, and it had this, you know, chunky manual, and on the manual was like, page one ever, match up the rune. Blah, blah, yeah. blah. I just remember I borrowed it, and I, I, I had D copy, I think, for the Amiga, which was such a great tool. I copied that bastard onto my hard drive, photocopied the manual, I was good to go. Yep. So right, the um, statute of limitations on that has expired. I can say that. Well, no, I and I I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. I don't. Uh, what well, I think it was actually Gabe Newell that said something along the lines of "people only pirate if it's hard, if it's if piracy it, piracy isn't a sales issue; it's a service issue." And yeah. he's right. Oh, totally. He's right to a degree. I to stopped degree. pirating games. Actually, I haven't pirated a game Steam. in a long time. I stopped pir pirating games when Steam came along. It just yeah. wasn't worth the effort. It's it's hard what? to do a lot of the shit you gotta do. One mm. word, just to settle that argument. Netflix. Yep. Oh, yeah. Cancel yeah, Cancel Netflix is hilarious. What's the fucking point now? Ne Netflix killed pirating for years, and then they're like, hey, we're gonna bring it back. <laughs> and they started mm -hmm. charging well, It was, it was inevitable. Sharing it was inevitable it when companies started seeing how much money they could oh, make by putting it all there, and then they were like, well, we want some of that, so we'll have it back. And it's like, no, no, no you don't understand. You are the problem. Mm -hmm. You have just we, recreated the problem. We went no, to Netflix. We went, we went to Netflix it? because of channel bloat. You had to yep. buy, spend $300 to buy all the channels, and you could only have certain, like, it was mm -hmm. insane, and that's where we are back at, and that's, I'm back to pirating. I'm sorry, I mean, I I'm, hate, I'm subscribed to, to certain it. position to certain subscriptions, yep. and if you're not putting your shit where it's easy for me to get, HBO, yep. Paramount Plus, fuck off, Paramount. Um, mm. Fuck right off, Paramount, you Greedy fuck nuts. Um, I like what they're doing. I just don't like that they're putting it on their own platform. Also, thank you very much, Paramount, for making like 52 uh, Star Trek shows. 
Yeah, except which I can't fuck fucking it. watch legally except, over here. Except legally. fuck you very somehow, much. Somehow, if I watch them illegally over here, I'm stealing it, even though it was never an option. Yep. So how can I steal something that doesn't exist? But also, fuck you very much, uh, Paramount, for canceling. Uh, frick, what was it? They canceled that. Oh, um, Serenity. No, they no, canceled. There was there, there was a Star Trek uh, show they canceled. Um, like the kids show. Oh, they they canceled Prodigy. Oh, Prodigy. Prodigy. Yeah, they canceled Prodigy. Oh. So I fucking know, very much Paramount. Uh, it was good. It was never over here. I mean, the thing that, and I hate to admit it, it is the best deal for me over here is getting Amazon Prime because I get streaming stuff and I get some good delivery stuff. But I hate the fact that I have to subscribe to fucking Amazon. I like Disney Plus. I hate Disney, but I like Disney Plus. I have kids. Someone it's great. showed me a picture of everything that Disney own, and it is quite disturbing mm -hmm. the things that that company owns. Everything? Pretty much. But so, did you know uh, Disneyland Tokyo and Disneyland Sea is not owned by Disney? Oh, that's weird. Really? Yeah, they're the only franchises that are allowed to operate because Dis Disney tried to run them over here and they didn't have a fucking clue. So some other company <laughs> bought them out and said, we'll run it for you, and they do. Uh, here's Just here's the thing. Just didn't understand the, like, the way to operate a, a business like that? Yeah, yeah I, d I don't yeah. know. It's you'd, really, you'd, you'd think, you know, Disney store just sells. But apparently not. Wow. Um, here's the thing. It's almost Amazon Prime Day. And I believe Amazon yes. workers... Amazon workers strike every year on Amazon Prime Day because working conditions are so poor. They, they aren't allowed bathroom breaks. Amazon is a horrible, horrible oligopoly that just... You know... And the Bulldoze true meaning of Prime Day has been lost. He sacrificed his life so that we all may live. Do not forget. Uh, what I will say is that there is no ethical consumption under capitalism, unfortunately. Um, God, can, can someone ask us like a Star Citizen question or something? Like, I don't even know what to yes. talk about. Before he starts fucking standing on his chair saying the workers control the means of production and waving bits of red paper everywhere. <laughs> I mean, we that do. Was, it was, we were moments away, man. We were moments away. We, one, we do. Um, David. Two, billionaires do. are getting scared. We do. But at Three, the same time, there's, there's more of us than there are of them. It's Four, true, but it's, it's very easy to yeah. look up recipes on how to okay. build guillotine. No, we're going mean, to talk now about but, the yeah, Idris. Yeah, you're going to stop that. David, there. tell that's, me everything you know about the, the Idris. Go. Well, about the Idris? Yeah. It's a horribly ugly ship, and I hate it. Okay, why? It's a shark. It's gorgeous. Uh, let me look it up. It looks like a shark. It's Make sure you put it on the on the screen for the nice people. Well, I don't know how. Is the peg is the Pegasus still called? Is the Pegasus the new name for it, or did they change uh, it from Pegasus, the, the strike uh, carrier? There is a Pegasus. The, uh, Wait a okay, uh, where is this? Here, you know, they, they only showed it off this once in Grey. Yep, I know, I know the one you're talking put about. This. Yeah, huh? is it is it yeah. still called the Pegasus? I mean, yeah. presumably. I mean, they haven't done anything with it in like nine years. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Okay. Shark. Okay. Okay. I can't. What about no show... shark? Well, it's a shark. It's not a shark. She's it's a predator. A very... Okay. Look, the bridge at the top that's completely separate. I've done this before, but yes, the have. bridge at the top that's completely separated from the rest of the ship, with two really flimsy, like hard points that would break off hit by anything stupid the giant yeah, engines that's, that's some galactic on, empire shit that you're the right, giant that galactic the, empire shit the giant empire the engines on the side really dumb the, it's just everything about it, it was, is a horrible target it's really cool for me it looks fucking cool, cool. it looks dangerous it looks lethal it looks like a shark and then the no. fucking the mouth actually opens up 
like like a predator. No, and then you launch death. You know what this looks like? You know, in movies, okay. I'm gonna paint you a picture. I'm gonna paint you a beautiful picture. All right, let's go. Easel. It's, a, it's an action movie. The good guy and the bad guy. We're we're like maybe two third, three quarters, two thirds of the way through the movie, right? You know, mm -hmm. there we've we've met the big bad guy. The good bad guy and the bad guy are having one of their like one of the points where they. Uh, they face off before things they break, break away and things go different ways. And they're on a bridge in San Francisco and they're fighting each other or New York, whatever. They're on a bridge and there's there's this battle that's going on on this bridge and the good guy's losing and the bad guy's beating the crap out of them because the good guy hasn't learned the true power of friendship yet in order to, you know, overcome the bad guy in the, the final act. Oh, and I love it. Either either the bad guy takes the good guy and throws him off the bridge thinking that's going to get rid of him for good, or the good guy looks over and, like, does the, you know, the, the dive off, and everyone's like, oh my goodness, is he going to be okay? And he lands on a giant trash barge, and there it is, the trash barge. Why have you just described the end of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to me as if I haven't watched that movie? <laughs> No, oh it's a trash barge. It is this giant wide thing that trash and you lean sits. over and you just say, without honor. <laughs> I hate you go, now you will have to fucking watch that movie. How many how many viewers did we just permanently lose because you called the interest a trash barge? They know my opinions. Five. It's a trash barge. <laughs> so funny. Says the oh. guy whose favorite ship is literally the trash barge, Redeemer. What? Yep. It is literally a trash barge. You, you mean it the reclaimer? For, it is reclaimer. a barge for containing trash. Re yeah, reclaimer. Yes, yes. but shiver. Oh, the yeah, reclaimer. Sorry, the reclaimer is also the scariest oh. ship in the verse. That was my mistake. Literally the scariest I ship. I don't know. I I still think the reclaimer is going to shit itself if there's a retribution that's just like, so. Okay, but hang on. I've got a question for you, shiver. If you look, okay, find the bridge, right? Look at the bridge. Follow yeah. one of the arms down. To the left, yeah. there's a gun. Yeah. And then if you follow that arm to the right, there's another gun. Yeah. And that gun... I'm good at this game so far. That gun has no viewing angle. To the left is the bridge. To the right are the engines. It can just barely it's, see it's, back. It's almost like CIG are encouraging you to have teamwork and coordination when you're fighting in a capital ship. No, it's just, it's Who really the fuck poorly that they would have had C and C in a C and C ship? What the fuck are it's they thinking? Shitty, those madmen. It's in a shitty place. It it's is. Dumb. It fucking is. I'm not disagreeing with you, but it's for a reason of hey. We're under attack. Can you come and hear us, please? Squadron One? I don't know why I'm doing that voice. That That's my breast, best Admiral Akbar voice, apparently. The, your your breast voice? Nice. My breast. <laughs> it's hot, all right? It's very fucking hot. <laughs> I haven't slept very well, oh, and, no. and climate change is real. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Oh, man. It should not be Wait, 28 no, no, degrees hang on. Celsius at night. Hang it on. should never be that hot at night. Give me a second. I've got to. I'm gonna pull this up on on screen. I've got yeah. a better. I've got a better view of the ship that I wanna. Um. Of the address <laughs> like that I wanna. <laughs> just a second. I hate. Google. Like just, I want to click on the picture and just see the picture. That's all I want. Yeah. Good luck with that. Oh, Getty, so killed that, Getty killed that for us. Let's see if this works. Okay, so here's the address. <laughs> Thank you, Citizen Shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You're ridiculous. I love that. this podcast. <laughs> We're the best. <laughs> Aren't you? Aren't you all so happy you watch this show? Oh, gosh. oh man! 
Hey, Shiver. All right. What's up? A bit busy at the moment. I'm on a podcast. But yeah, what's around, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> so what's the first place you're interested in visiting in Pyro? The Lou. He's not wrong. I don't have any of those. <laughs> <laughs> to get rid of them all. Um, I don't, I don't remember the name of the outpost, but the one that they they've built into that asteroid that they showed off, uh, quite some time ago. I that's all. That's what I immediately think of when someone says Pyro. Is that I, I really awesome. want to see that, and I don't know why. It just looks great for canyon runs in space, and then if you don't want to do the canyon run in space. I hope that they've set it up so I can watch someone doing it and just be like, oh, sir, or madam, or whatever title is suitable for they, them. That I, was impressive. I, it's, one, it's one of the few games that you, I could genuinely see myself just sat back, cup of coffee, paint, I don't know, I don't care, something, and then just having it just on and just watching... It pass. I don't know. It's. I maybe I'm fucking old. I'm probably too fucking I'm, I old. I do this. think. I do think there's going to be a lot of people who enjoy. Um, and I'm sure I'm going to be one of them at some point. Uh, watching, like organized races in the verse, because you're going to yeah. see some incredible pilots doing some really crazy shit. Yes. Yeah. 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 You. I mean, well, you already can. The things you can you already can doing already it's um insane. absolutely it will just become more you know organized and easier to find as things as time goes on yeah yeah and you know it's almost hopefully supported in game as well like you maybe you yeah. could just see yourself if you're a deep space explorer and somehow you can still watch whatever's being streamed by someone you don't want to piss around in a game today you just want to hang out with your friends in game stick something on and i guess basically play second life and star citizen i don't know i'm so, fucking old don't pay any attention to me it's david yeah oh don't perceive me why are we <laughs> hmm? I'll always pay attention to you shiver um david yeah me. Other than That's my Squadron. Name. Other yep. than Squadron and Tony Zervet, because those are the two easy answers. Yeah. What are you interested in seeing at CitizenCon? In terms of panels. Like what what's the thing? What's the what's the thing for David? The thing for David is if we look back to pillar talk. Uh huh. We're done. Just about. Wow. Once server meshing is done. But that's that's the last thing. Yep. Right. We had that talk that was like, here are all the things that have to ta happen for the game, and server meshing is probably coming. You know, I don't know if they'll test it this year, but it's probably coming next year. I would like to know. You know, I, I figure we're going to get server meshing next year. We're going to get squadron next year. What's next? I would like to know the less than immediate roadmap. What comes next? What's the plan for tech? What's the plan for improving creation times for... Uh, planets systems items like what's what comes next for star citizen for the development of star citizen because we've known where it's at for a while mm -hmm. we're about we are we are on the cusp of unknown territory where we don't know what the future plan is because since pillar talk we have known what the plan was it was this then this then this then this, and now we're going to get this, and fuck, I don't know. What the after, fuck? What, 
what's next after static server meshing that team will continue to work on server meshing probably forever um because it's gonna need love and then dyna- and they need to get dynamic server meshing working someday um but i do think a lot of the company effort will roll off of server meshing at that point because you can run star citizen with a static server mesh like it can work so um <laughs> after that point um i would like to personally what i would really like to see is two efforts assuming that squadron is done um I would like to see two big efforts, one of them being uh, a large expansion of the number of uh, planets and systems they're doing at any given time. And the second one being um, a large expansion of their work on uh, careers um, and getting the game mechanics, you know, more mature In. Uh, for, yeah. all, for all of the different careers. Sure. I have a question for you, Eric. Okay. Fire. What has changed on your perspective from Star Citizen from when you were first into it to today? I didn't realize how long it was going to take. I, I, uh, that's a big one. I think, that, yeah, that's that's a fair one and a very common one, I would imagine. There are definitely things that haven't changed about my perspective, but my biggest pr- perspective shift was that I wasn't really fully educated, I think is the best way to put it on exactly how big of a task they had. I, had a... I didn't want an MMO. I thought it was going to be Freelancer well, too. You're getting one of each. <laughs> well, no, I'm actually not getting anything that I wanted because I didn't want the single-player-only experience. I wanted what I had with Freelancer, oh. which was, yeah, couple like four to ten player co-op, small server, server that you can host yourself, that was actually one of their Kickstarter promises. That is not going to happen. Still... Nah, that can still happen. That can still happen, most definitely. It, it's still... going to be that could happen. not the full game. Oh, absolutely not full game. I would imagine they would have to do something um, like, you know, you, you can host one system, maybe. Yeah, but it's but that's not but that's what was... Fuck all. But that's not what was promised. That's fucking huge. But it's True. not not True. what was uh, promised. Hey, David, please stop but using the promise huge. word. <laughs> That's a terrible but it, word. It, it, it is just that word. one system, though, is still a fucking huge thing. And Might that, be... that gives the potential for someone to sit there and say, you know what? I wonder I wonder if I can mod this a little bit. And it, it snowballs from that. And eventually someone is going to sit there and say, hey, I have made a Stargate, a Star Trek, a Star Wars mod for this game, and who knows that's where fine. That could go? Hey, no, it's okay. not what I wanted. True, you're you're fair. You're right. You're fair. That's fair. You're fair. I don't want I, an MMO. Even today, I, I don't always, want an MMO. Has Star Citizen ever not been an MMO? Yes. Yes. The MMO was a stretch goal for eleven million. Oh, so it was like right after. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was early on, but it wasn't originally an MMO. I never wanted an MMO. I still don't want an MMO. I hate an MMO. I hate humans. I don't want to interact with other people. I want to interact with a very few people that I like. And, um, I, I, for example, I really like Diablo 4. Mm-hmm. It's... Me too. MMO light to the extreme. It's like there's it's like light to the extreme. There's never very many players around. There's a few. Yeah. There's like a couple people that you might encounter, and there's basically no way. I wanted. I really liked the idea. I mean, hated. Didn't want an MMO. We're getting an MMO. Fine. Oh, but we're going to have a PvP slider that I can turn off so that I don't see other people and don't have to deal with other jackasses? 
Fantastic. I'm sold. Oh, wait, that's gone. And now I might actually have to deal with people that are just assholes because they think it's funny to be an asshole. I don't want to deal with assholes. I, assholes are everywhere. Yeah. Why are you putting them in my fucking yeah. game? I don't want to deal with assholes, yeah. especially when there's no fucking reason for them right. not to be a fucking asshole. I don't want to deal I with that. Don't know if he, I don't know if he's still he, a little, uh, Elite still has it, but it did have that weird mode where you could affect the online world and it affected you, but you weren't directly playing in the online world, but you were still playing the game. I don't, I don't know if it still has that mode. I'd love that. That that was how I used to play Elite. Cause, yeah, I just don't. I don't like the idea of just being trying to have fun on my own and someone shows up and can wreck my day and wreck everything I'm doing and I'm shit out of luck in, because they're allowed to. I mean, in theory, more than in theory, you, you will be able to find places where that shouldn't happen. And, it, the, you know, there's always going to be a chance of that happening, but the consequences of that happening should outweigh the fact of making it happen unless they're deliberately trying to just troll you. And they will. I, I still like I loved World of Warcraft, but at the end of that but, day, but it hold comes on, down Trevor. to they're the ones that will be losing in that. Instance, yeah, but they're really. not going to lose enough. I I loved World of Warcraft, but there was always some jackass rogue that was like, "Haha, I'm going to sneak in, be invisible in enemy territory, and as soon as the level ten walks into the place where I can kill him, I'm going to kill." Him. And I mean, dance basically, on his basically it, we are shit. we are of the same mindset, and people are going to turn around and. To be honest, quite fairly say, well, you don't want to play an MMO, and that is exactly what you're saying, Eris, as well. Yep. I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't like MMOs for the same reason, but I, I will still sit there and play them because I like I like to play either on my own and see how far I can get on my own and then see what you can do with friends as well. But sh shenanigans. I'm hoping that that is still an option. Shenanigans. There and, can and, be, and, and also, yeah, he's not hostile towards the PVPers. He doesn't want to play a PVP-based game himself. I like the PVP myself because it's dramatic. It adds consequences. You get really into it. But I can also understand no, if no, someone hang, does not hang, want to be into that. Hang on, because here's what it is. I have nothing against PVP as long as both people want to engage in PVP. If one of the people no, no, if one of the people does not want to be engaged in PvP and you are forcing them into PvP, then it's not PvP, it's asshole versus person that's just trying to have a fun time. Hmm? Pirate. That's fair. No, it's not pirate. pirate. I don't, no, I don't, pirate, I don't. That is, you've literally just, that is a pirate's job, is to say, I will hold you ransom, you give me money. No, no, hang on, I, I am Galan, it's not about risk versus reward, it's about assholes okay there is a difference if i no no, no. There, there is a different yeah but there, Shiver, you're, give me a second I, no 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 you're sounding like you're lumping assholes in as all pvpers no i'm not i'm not but if i'm if i go in and you come to pirate me and you're like drop your cargo or i'm gonna blow you up and i choose yeah. to drop my cargo no and no, then you... that's not piracy. That's griefing. A real pirate would net. A real pirate will honor the agreement because a pirate has nothing but their reputation. If you start saying, "Oh, player X held me to ransom. I gave him the ransom. And he still blowed me up." That gets around, and then suddenly he's like, "You're going to blow me the fuck up anyway. You get nothing." That's how but piracy people are... works. Is yes, word of but, mouth. but that they're still going. There are people that are still going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, and I don't Th want that's to. That's always going to be the way, but that's not PvP. Yeah, but, but that is no, a no, but yeah, but guess what? The first time I encounter a griefer in Star Citizen that ruins my time playing Star Citizen, guess what? I'm probably not going to play Star Citizen again because you know what? Here's the here's the fun thing about video games. There are so fucking many of them, and they are so fucking good. Yeah. And I mean, you, if I'm going to not enjoy my time... Said, Star Citizen may not be the game for you. I know, it's, I, but that's what I've said. It's probably not going to be, because there are people that would do that just because they can, because yeah. they can be assholes. Yeah. 
And yeah. I, I, that's that's called life, mate. Yeah, and fuck that. I know, and, and and don't get me wrong. I I completely understand. You are playing a game to escape real life. You're playing an MMO, which involves real life to an extent. But, but I didn't sign I, on for personally, an MMO. I think you know it. it I'm 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 kind of with um, Mister I am Galon here of just you know, that that shit can happen. No, nope. shit Fuck happens. It. It's it's bullshit, and people shouldn't be assholes in video games or in real life. They shouldn't, but they are. Don't. You can either fucking adapt to it, or you can just not, not play the game. Life, really. Well, no, I'm yeah. just not going to play the game. I'm. Con, you know, actions have consequences. As simple as that. And it, it, yeah. if that happens to me, it's like, oh, that's a bit shit. But oh well, maybe I'll just turn the game off for a day. Maybe I'll just grind back to something else. Who knows? It's not the end of the world for me. I don't like you, I am Gillon. That's that's just honestly a horrible no, no, fucking. No, 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 that, no. He, he's got a right to be like that. To no, play an I asshole think... in real life, he could be the nice. He probably is the nicest person you'll ever fucking meet. But that's how he wants to play a game, and that's his fucking right. Yeah, I don't think that's nice. The same I way that think... you have a right to say, "I don't want you to play like that." Well, he does have the right to play like that. It's six one half a dozen of the other, you know. Yeah, I, you're not wrong. I disagree, but neither is he. I disagree. And, okay, okay. Eric, last words to you, and then we're gonna. And because I'm up. tired. Look, I'm All right. I just, I just don't want you to think I'm disagreeing with you or poo pooing you. It's fine, but that's just the way it is. Yeah, and I disagree with the way it is. I think we should be better. Then you us. never know. There might be complete systems out there where players are in control, and they're like, "We do not tolerate any piracy here." I can totally see that happening. And then I can totally see the opposite happen. And Sargareth, you're right. I really hope that there are consequences for jackasses in the game. I hope that there are significant ones. Um, I mean, they've already said their consequences are enormous. Yeah. I know, They're and I, I hope, yeah. I really, so, really hope that they are because I just griefing it's, it's useless to be like years well, ahead of time. You're like, fuck, I'm not going to play the game because it's like no, no, no. I'm, I'm saying mind, something, something bad might happen. I, I'm, I'm saying. If yeah, it happens to me and there's no consequence, then I'm. Oh, it, it's just we got to see what the, uh, he, we have they to have see. said outright. We do not want to make Eve 2.0. I know, but but I am Gillen. Like you saying that you will camp the shit out of stations for fun. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, like just <sighs> that is funny. That is fucking it's, funny. But it's, he's not going to camp. He's not going to be able to camp high security stations and get away with it, though. I, I look. I think there is an important maxim that everyone should. Live My man's with. out should here. Never... My man's out here. He's having his fun by going to these PvP low sec areas, and he's not going to. You're not going to go there. My man's having his fun. What it comes down to is, you're saying, I have the right to have this much fun in my way, but you do not have the right to have fun at my expense. Why? And it's not, again, I'm not trying to call you out or anything. It's just, this is a question that there because is no, no definitive no, answer. Because, no, you know what, Shiver? No, actually, there is a definitive answer. I can answer it really okay. fucking okay. simply. My fun doesn't ruin someone else's fun. His does. But it does, though, because you're saying, I don't want you to fight me. Well, that's how he gets his fun. No, because he can find someone that wants to do PvP. That's why the PvP slider was, in my mind, a perfect idea. Because I don't find that fun, I can turn it down and not encounter people that want to PvP. But the people that want to PvP can encounter each other. Right? Hmm. I don't want. I just think you, I. I don't think it's going to be as clear. And, and I don't, you know what? I, I am Gillen. You're right. So, I we'll am see. probably going we'll to see. enjoy Starfield a hell of a lot more. I genuinely don't know if I'm going to enjoy Star Citizen the MMO anymore. Because, like I said, that started this whole rant. I didn't want Star Citizen but to be an MMO. Here's the great thing: <laughs> you can totally enjoy Squadron. I hope so. But it's single player. It was supposed to be multiplayer. Ah. 
Anyway, um, fuck, I'm tired and sick. Please don't Eric's take not it past talking me, anymore. Eric. Please don't take Eric. it past me. It's it's just what's up, Eric? You're what's not up? saying anything. No, I just we've been having fun playing Star Citizen for like a year and a half, and you're like, fuck, this is a stupid game. And no. because of something that might happen like five years from now. <laughs> I'm saying yeah, if it he's happens. Right. Don't have to worry. The game's never gonna come out. Fuck it. That's that's true. If if it anyway, happens, I'm going to be we're angry. Like, we're he way is over a space time, dad. <laughs> we are way over time. Oh god. Can I call you Space Daddy from now I on? Do, I do I am gonna agree with you in one thing. In that it can happen. Because that is the reason I stopped playing Eve. Yeah. It literally is. That is the reason I stopped playing Eve. Was I was having I'm and it was my fault, to be honest. But it still stopped me from playing the game. Cause I took a what I thought was a calculated risk to make a lot of money in the game. And I lost everything. Like literally everything was gone. It was zero down to nothing. No, don't and fly if you can't afford to lose it. Exactly, I fucked up. I but stopped it was like, playing Eve, but it was like, but it was like, do I want to put in another hundred hours to get back to where I, I was? Eve Not for like really. six or seven years. I loved that game. I yeah. loved it. I look no. See, here's why I stopped playing Eve, and this is what I'm worried about, and this is what I don't want to happen. I stopped playing Eve because I was in the tutorial area trying to yeah, figure out bullshit. how to fly. Yeah, that's not and actually I got, meant to be allowed. And I got PvP'd in the tutorial yeah. trying to learn how to that, fly a ship. Yeah, that is the one place in Eve that you, that is actually not allowed. Okay, and but someone it was not allowed. Whatever, someone still did it. Mm. Because yeah, but them, so, so you, you reported it naturally, right? No, no, hang on. Because to them, oh, this is hilarious. I can do this. Oh, this is so funny. And this is why I want to say, and we're ending it here because I'm I'm just ending yeah. it. Yeah, Here's th the this thing. is a debate that could just last. Forever. We can we can talk forever. Here's the thing. There is a very important maxim. It's one that I have tried to live my entire life by, and it's one that I very, very much hope that more people will try to live their lives by because it's all we've got, and that is, quite simply, don't be a dick. Thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll probably be back next week. Uh, check out Table of Horrors, twitch.tv slash Table of Horrors for more. Next week, there's Always. no show. There's no show next week, so we'll probably actually play some Star Citizen. Um, yes, please. So please, please come back next week. I do love you all, even if I disagree. Um, yeah, disagreeing is fine. Seriously, even if we disagree, I have no no hate for you, unless you spawn camp me. In that case, uh, sit on a <laughs> cactus and rotate. Um, it, it I, I will tell you now, uh, Mr. Galon, if you if you like TTRPGs, come on over to Table Horrors. But if it, I I that's oh, that's all we do is TTRPGs. Star Citizen here, TTRPGs at twitch.tv slash Table of Horrors. Love you all. Thank you all. Stay safe and buy P uh, TTRPG tabletop role playing game. Think D and D. Um, grown adults that pretend to be vampires in an imagination.